What's up? This is EasyOSX, and today I'm going to show you how to launch any app on your Apple TV from another Apple device using Siri and shortcuts. Now to show you what I mean, I've got these three shortcuts for YouTube, Pandora, and Netflix that when pressed or run from Siri will open these apps on my Apple TV. So let me walk you through creating a new one. The easiest way to make one is by hitting Gallery in the bottom right hand corner of the shortcut screen. At the top will be a search bar for searching through Apple's own pre-made shortcuts. You'll want to type in Open App on Apple TV, though it should start appearing as you type. Once you see it, go ahead and click on it. Now a preview of the shortcut will open, and here's where you can rename it to whatever you want, as this will also be the command you use when you trigger it via Siri. At the bare minimum, you'll want to change the word app to the TV app that you want to open, like YouTube, Netflix, etc. If you have multiple Apple TVs, you may also want to put that in the name as well. So while I didn't do it here, in this example, I would change it to Open Tubi on Apple TV, since the Tubi TV app is what I'm going to set it up to work with. When you've got it named, hit Add Shortcut at the bottom of the screen. This will walk you through the steps to set up the command. The first will be what Apple TV you want to connect it to if you have multiple. Since I only have one, I'll just set it to the living room. However, if you'd rather it ask you every time which TV you want to use this command on, then hit skip at the bottom. Otherwise, hit continue. It will then ask you what app you want to open on command. You can hit skip like before if you wanted to ask every time, or you can hit the app selection menu, which will then be presented with a list of all the apps installed on that Apple TV. They're arranged primarily alphabetically, and I say primarily because you'll see Hoopla at the bottom underneath YouTube. And this likely seems to be caused by the fact that Hoopla is the only app that doesn't start with a capital letter. Regardless, I'm going to select the one app that I want, in this case, Tubi. Once I select that app, then I'll hit continue again, and we're done. Going back to my shortcuts pane, I can see that new shortcut created here at the very top left corner. I can then activate it either by asking Siri to run it, or by tapping that shortcut on the page. Now the first time you run this shortcut, it'll ask you for permission to access the Apple TV remote function on your phone. This is required because otherwise the shortcut will fail. But once you've given it permission, it'll run from then on out. And it'll even turn on the Apple TV and the TV you're running it with if it's connected and set up properly. And like I showed you before, I have multiple different shortcuts set up for some of the apps that I use most on my Apple TV. And by clicking them, I can launch those apps on my Apple TV without actually having to use the physical remote. Clicking on the Netflix example, you can go in and change this app or the Apple TV that you want to launch at any given time, or even duplicate the function. But with that, now you can ask Siri on your iPhone, HomePod, or other Apple device to open apps on your Apple TV, just like magic. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, if it helps you out, please give it a like. It helps the channel out. And if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on our website, easyosx.net, as well as on social media. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.